How's it going? It's Charles Botenston, and today we're going to be talking about something that I thought about as I was meeting one of my mentees, as I like to call it. Is it's a guy that I was out on a date, and this guy, uh, the waiter came up, and he and I was, you know, I just came out of work, and I'm with this attractive girl, and he goes, "What do you do?" And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" He goes, "Like, what do you do? You're you're well dressed. You look like you know you have your stuff going on." I'm like, "Well, that's <laughs> thank you for the compliment. I don't have everything going on." And he's like, you're with this cute girl. And I'm like, well, you know, real estate that I would get to start getting to talking. And he actually, we go out and, I, and he, we, he goes, listen, I want to learn as much from you as I can. He's from Europe. He just came here about two years ago. He's a waiter and he just wants a lot more. He just feels blessed that he came to America and he just has this huge opportunity to make whatever he wants. He doesn't, he didn't know anyone coming here. He didn't have any money and he works at a restaurant and he thought it'd be temporary, but now it turned out to be two years later and he just wants more. And I said, and he had such a fire that I'm like, yeah, okay, well, let's go out. Let's start learning or at least learning a little bit about what I've learned in my life. So one of the things, so we met yesterday, he got his real estate license, and he said, someone told him, someone, his manager, told him to go to a neighborhood, and in like, I'm in Manhattan, New York City, and he says, go to Midtown East, or go to Midtown Western, go, go to an area, get to know that area, and you'll start getting clients. And I'm like, that's the dumbest piece of advice. I'm like, you don't just get to know an area and people will start coming to you. You have people coming to you and then you get to know an area because you're not gonna get to know that area unless you have clients to actually show that area. Real estate is very Darwinian. It's like you either have clients and you have business or you don't. There's no like you're getting paid. So he, he said, well, I wanna work on the Upper East, Upper East Side. I said, why do you wanna work on the Upper East Side? And he said, because there's less expensive studios. I said, well, do you want to work on the Upper East Side? He said, no, not really. I said, then why do you want to work there? He said, because it's easier. There's $1,800 studios instead of $2,500 studios in Midtown or $4,000 studios downtown. And it got me to thinking, and I said, you get what you think you deserve. And I didn't think of that. I, that is not an original thought. That is someone who thought of it way smarter than me. But it was something that I have kept on hearing over time. I think it was through Tony Robbins and Bob Proctor. You get what you think you deserve. You get it in your body. You get it in your knowledge. You get it in your relationship with your wife, your girlfriend, your husband, your spouse, your uh, friends, your family. Uh, what, what, how you respect yourself is what you're going to get in life. If you expect 50 th perfect examples, I came out of real estate, or I came out of business, uh, finance, I'm sorry, I came out of finance making uh, about $42,000 a year. Actually, no, I'm sorry, $46,000 a year. Year. And I then went into real estate and I made like 37,000 my first year and then I made like 41 the next year. And I had this paradigm as Bob Proctor calls it. Bob Proctor, highly recommend uh, checking him out, Bob Proctor. He, had, he says you have a paradigm, and T. Harv Eker also says this. T. Harv Eker wrote Millionaire Mind or Millionaire Mindset, or so I'll link it below. Everything's linked below, Bob Proctor and T. Harv Eker. You have a blueprint. That's what he calls it, T. Harv Eker. He said you have a blueprint for wealth. And your blueprint essentially just, it controls your life. My blueprint for my life was forty-five to fifty thousand dollars is the max that I can make. Then the following year, I made about a hundred thousand, and I was like, "Wow!" I was like, "I can make a hundred I At one time, I thought that was like ridiculous. It's like people that thought that their goal of winning an Emmy or an Oscar, you'll see them. They're like, "I had this as a dream since a little child. I've been working, da da da." And now it's come into their fruition. They they had it as a dream. Like I cannot believe this. And it's the same thing with me. Is that I had a paradigm shift. And it's the same thing with someone that wins an Os an Oscar. They have a paradigm shift. They're like, "Holy cow! It's possible." It's possible to have a great body if I eat well and I go to the gym and exercise. Holy cow, you have a paradigm shift that I can have an amazing relationship, I can make the money I want, I can have a great friendship with all of my friends that are positive, they are adventure oriented or whatever your friends, mine, I want my friends to be adventure oriented, go-getters, entrepreneurs, because I feel entrepreneurs are people that understand the, the hustle and the, the fear it, it is to go out on your own and start your own business. So think about any area in your life, and I think this was actually Tony Robbins' original idea, think of any area in your life that you're lacking. For me, I wish my business was a little bit bigger, so I have a paradigm shift that I need to just go like that, just turn it on and say, you deserve dot, dot, dot in business. You deserve to represent $10 million houses, $50 million penthouses, $100 million townhouses. You deserve that. And that's my paradigm shift because perfect example, yesterday, I was uh, coming back from work, or coming home from work, and there was a cute girl to my left, and we, we left out of the same building, we're walking along the street, and I just said, and it was like, we were leaving at like 9 p.m., and I was like, I was like, oh, late night. Started getting to talking, we took the subway down together, exchanged contact information, and I used to do that like three or four years ago, and then I just, I, I stopped getting away from that spontaneity of meeting someone that I was attracted to, like at Starbucks or, you know, whatever. Obviously, when I'm out in a social scene and it's accepted, then it's not a big deal, but I got away from the, you're cute, I'm cute, let's exchange contact information. If it works out, cool, if it doesn't, whatever. But I had a paradigm shift when I got home. I said, wow, I forgot what it feels like. That, that, that internal rush, that you felt the fear, you put yourself out there to, for a re potential rejection of the girl saying, I'm married, I have a boyfriend, you're not my type. No, I'm not gonna give you my number. That was all, or to 
just even start talking to her, you know? That was a paradigm shift. So it's like, oh yeah, I forgot. So think of an area you're lacking. And obviously one of them is relationships. Am I looking for a relationship? I don't know. My business is my number one priority. So I want to turn that paradigm shift. And ironically enough, it bleeds into other areas. Once you start getting like, I started going to the, the gym a lot more. Uh, I had a 75 mile, 75 mile race, bike race on Sunday. It's now Tuesday. And I have this, this total just rush of anticipation to go to the gym. I'm, I'm excited to go back to the gym and that's going to bleed into business. And then if I handle my health and my business, that's going to bleed into relationships. I'm going to get cooler people in my life, which is one of my goals this year. Uh, cooler people. In other words, like go getters, fun, positive. I pretty much brought it up before what I'm looking for in relationships and friends. So you get what you think you deserve. So this guy thought he deserved $1,800 studios when in fact, that's what he thought he deserved. He thought he only deserved the low part of the market in Manhattan. So that's what he's going to get. And I told him, I said, if you want a $5,400 one bedroom or a $10,000 two bedroom client, you have to have it through your mind that you deserve that, that you're worthy of that, that you, that you are, that, yeah, that you deserve that perfect example. I was, I was out in Vegas about two weeks ago, uh, actually probably longer now, it's like it makes a difference three weeks ago. <laughs> and the guy that we were out with, his friend came out and he had every, I was there for a week. I was meeting a client an investor and a developer, you know, it was very business-like, but we went out a couple of nights. I had friends out there. So one of the guys that came out, his friend brought literally each night a different beautiful girl. And I went up to him. I'm like, I'm like are, are these girls, do they live here? Are you, are, are they just visiting? Like, how do you do it? And he goes, what do you, like, it, went, it didn't even phase him that he was like doing this, that he was bringing out these beautiful women that were fun and cool and interactive. And there's, cause there's a lot of, just like guys, just like, like I mentioned, there's a lot of dur state kind of girls that are like, I'm beautiful. Things are given to me. There's guys that are like, I'm in shape, I'm an athlete, things should be given to me. And they live in this dur state when in fact you should be present and just grateful for what you have. And he, it was funny because I asked him, like, how, like, where are these girls and how, what's your mindset behind, you know, all these guys ogling over who, and he's just like, if, to him, he goes, it's just, it's just who I am. It's just like what I do. It's just, I, I'm just friends with these types of girls. And I started thinking about it and in his mind, he, has, he obviously hasn't broken it down. He hasn't broken it down that these girls are, more attractive than normal, they're cooler than normal, but he filters his life and his conversation through him, when, through the conversations he has with these girls, with these women. And it's the same thing when, when someone goes to the gym, it's like you're filtering what you pick up. Like, am I picking up a five pound dumbbell? Am I going out and getting an $1,800 studio because I feel I deserve this? This guy feels he deserves a beautiful woman who's a go-getter, who's, who's fun and exciting and enthusiastic, can add to the group, and that's what he filters for because he, he has an internal belief. He believes he deserves it. So think about an area that you're lacking and the reason that you're lacking in that area is because you, you, you don't feel like you deserve it. So that's number one. Number two is how do you get over it? We well, have to find out what you actually want, okay? If you want a $5,400 one bedroom or a better body or better relationships, you have to, you, literally, you have to believe it. You, can, you cannot, go, like, you have to become it, then you have to do it, and then you'll have it. Be, do, have. It's not like you're gonna go out and get that beautiful woman and then you approach her and then you become that attractive guy to her or you don't, you don't go to the gym, start putting up 300 pounds on the bench press. You internally believe yourself throughout the day, affirmations, visualizations, just start telling yourself, I'm an athlete, I am in shape, I am a billionaire. And you just go throughout life and you just start convincing yourself of that. And it sounds woo woo and corny and things like that. I have convinced myself of so many things and then I started doing something about it and then I had it. Perfect example, I said, I deserve a better apartment. I grew up, you know, like a normal person on Long Island. And I said, I deserve a better apartment in New York City. Then I started becoming someone that deserves it. I started working harder, going after bigger business, saving my money, watching after where it went. Then I did something about it. I went out and I got it and then I had it. So be that person you want to become. Then you do the things that is in alignment with the being. So an athlete, you work out and then you have a great body or you have the relationships. So you become an attractive guy by reading and then you go out and you still need to talk to girls and then you have a great girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever, whoever you're looking to get. Hopefully this helps. This is Monday morning, Monday, this is not Monday, this is Tuesday, but this is Morning Motivation. I'm Charles Botenstein. I'm gonna be coming out with a video every single morning about something. Uh, tomorrow it might be how to go from reading information to implementing it into your life. I have that as a little video uh, list of things to go over. Subscribe to the videos below. There's also all the links that I talked about and I I also have a vlogging channel that's also linked below, vlogging channel. And follow me on Instagram. Those are my three favorite things to uh, keep in touch. If you have any questions, leave the comments below. I'll answer it or make a video about it. Talk to you guys soon.